What's up guys? So today I wanted to share how I raised my credit score from 500 to 700 so that you can do the same. And first and foremost, why would you want to do this in the first place? Well, raising your credit score is going to help you actually pay less interest if you're making bigger purchases. It's going to help you be able to borrow more money. It's going to help you be able to uh, borrow money for your business. Like let's say that you start a business and you want to be able to take on some debt for the business. Well, if you don't have two years of financial statements, already for the business, then it's you're not really going to be able to borrow anything. And so if you're just starting a new business, it's going to really your personal credit score, especially if you have like an LLC, it's going to really impact how much you can borrow lines of credit for the business, things like that. So now let's just get into what I did specifically. When I started, I didn't have any credit, really no credit history. And so the first thing that I did is I took out a secure card. Uh, and before we get into what a secure card is, we need to really understand what are the things that impact your credit score. So the first step is really understanding what your credit score is. And so what I did is I went to creditkarma.com um, and I signed up there. It's free. You put in all your information. It'll tell you what your credit score is. If you don't want to use Credit Karma, you can go to annualcreditreport.com and use that service. It'll tell you what your credit report is, what your credit score is without giving you a hit to your credit. And so once you know what your credit score is, there's some things that we have to look at. So the big factors that really affect your credit score. So number one, we have payment history. Are you or have you been making on-time payments? So this is, this is huge. This, this is probably the highest percentage that affects your, your credit score. And let's say that you don't have any credit right now. Like when I started, I didn't have any credit, so I didn't have any real payment history. The next thing that really affects your credit is your credit utilization. So out of the amount of credit that you have available to you, how much of it are you actively using? Let's say that I have a credit, I have one credit card, for example, and it has a thousand dollar limit on it. That means that I have $1,000 in credit available to me to use. If I go and I purchase something with that credit card that costs $100, well, I've just used 10% of my credit. And so for credit utilization, we always want to keep this below 30%. If you have it, if you're using 30% or less of your credit, it's going to affect your score in a positive way and it's going to boost your credit score up. Now, if we can get that down to 10% or zero, below 10%, it's going to boost your score way up. But on the other side of this, if you're using more than 30%, if you're using 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a hundred percent of your credit that's available to you, it's going to drop your score significantly. And so, uh, the next thing is new credit. And so every time that we go and we apply for new credit cards, it runs a hard report, um, a hard inquiry on our credit. And every one of those hard inquiries drops our credit score a little bit. So we don't want to be like applying for a bunch of new credit cards at the same time. Even if you're trying to boost your credit and you want to get some credit cards so that you can up your, um, up your available credit and then not use them, you're going to have dings every time that you apply. So that's not something that we want to do. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go through all of these different things and explain what they are. And then I'm going to share exactly what I did. And so, the other thing is the length of our credit history. Lenders, they really want to see that you've had credit for a while. And so they take into account the average, average amount of time that your accounts have been opened. And so we don't want to be closing accounts. So we, we want our accounts to be open and we want them in use for a long amount of time. So what this means is, let's say that you get a credit card and you never use it like ever eventually that card, that account will close. So we want to be using them, but we want, we want to be using them in a tiny, tiny amount and, and paying the balances off. So that way they stay open, but we're not using more than 10 or more than 30% of the credit that's available to us. And so the other thing that is looked at that affects our credit score is the mix of credit that we have available to us. Do you just have credit cards and that's it? If you have credit cards, an auto loan, a home loan, uh, lenders re really like that because it shows that um, all these 
other lenders have, have been willing to lend you money and you've been paying it back all on time and your credit utilization is under 30%. Like all of that stuff helps contribute to a really high score. Now let's get into, this is exactly what I did step by step to go from 500 to 700. And I think it took me about a year. I'm not one of these guys that's going to tell you it works in 30 days. This is just exactly what I did. And so I applied for a secure credit card. I couldn't get a regular credit card because I didn't have any credit history. And so what is a secure card? A secure credit card is a credit card where I had to put down a deposit. And so for me, I use Discover for mine. I had to put down, uh, the deposit can be a minimum of $100, but I put down a $300 deposit and they sent me a card in the mail and it had a $300 credit limit on it. And so the way that it worked is after I had on-time payments for eight months, I would get my deposit back and then they would uh, increase my credit limit and, and then they would turn it into a regular card. It would basically make it not secure. The reason they call these a secure card is because you put the $300 deposit down, they give you a credit card with a $300 limit. And if you don't pay your bill or you just di disappear into the wind with the card that they gave you uh, and you run up $300 worth of charges, well, they'll use your deposit to pay it back. And don't do that though, because it's going to demolish your credit report, your credit score, you do something like that. So this is what I did. I got that card, it had a $300 limit on it, and I took my Netflix bill and my Spotify bill, and I put those on that card. That's the only thing that I used it for, Netflix and Spotify. And I did this because my Netflix and Spotify combined was less than $30 a month, there are things that are going to get charged to the card every month. And if you calculate it, $30 is 10% of 300, which was my credit limit. So the only thing is that I'm putting onto this card were Netflix and Spotify every month. And I would get paid and I would pay the card off in full. So every month, $30 is being run up on the card, but I'm paying it off every month. So because I'm paying it off every month, I'm not getting charged interest. The first month that you incur charges on your credit card, you don't get charged interest until the second month. Like let's say it's December right now while I'm recording this. So any interest that's, that I'm getting charged on my credit card is interest from the previous billing cycle. Any balance that's left on there that I didn't pay off from the previous billing cycle, that's what that's what the credit card company charges you interest on. And so I'm paying this off every month, $30, not getting charged any interest. And that's all I'm using it for. And I did that for the whole seven, eight months. And my credit score just went up like crazy because I have an on-time payment history. I'm using less than 10% of my available credit. And those were the two big things in the beginning. And then once they made the card unsecure, they, they increased my credit limit from 300 to, I believe this one was, yeah, they increased it to 1800. So it went from 300 to 1800 at the end of seven months. And then I applied for another card and I got a $700 credit card. And I got another one that's a $500 credit card. And you just keep doing this. You just keep um, making sure that your utilization is under 10%, that's the best. But if you have it under 30, that's still good. Um, and that you're making on-time payments, preferably paying off the credit card in full. You wanna keep using it every month, but paying it off in full every month too. Okay, to kind of sum it all up, what we need to do is number one, really know what our credit score is. Go to Credit Karma, it's an app, sign up for it. It'll tell you exactly what your credit score is, or you can go to uh, annualcreditreport.com and do the same there. Find out what your credit score is and then apply for some secure cards. If your credit score is like in the 500s, you're probably not gonna get a regular credit card. You're gonna have to get a secure card. Just bite the bullet on it, put down the deposit. You'll get the deposit back, Just put down the deposit and then use that card for one of your streaming services or one of the things that you're getting billed automatically for every month and don't use it for anything else. Just literally put the card, lock it up in your closet or whatever you need to do. Don't even have it in your wallet. Just use that to pay for one of your services. And this way you make sure that no matter what, 
So let's say that you have a $100 limit on your card. Use it on something that, that you only get charged $10 for every month. You know, every month you get charged $10 for this thing. Use that credit card to pay for that. This way, you're never going above 10%. You're never going above 10% of the available credit. And that's all you use it for and you pay it off every month. You pay that credit card off every month. You get paid, you pay that credit card off and you do that and you keep checking your credit score you're gonna see it going up and up and up. And um, so then once your credit score is going up, you can start applying for other cards. You can start applying for cards that are not secure cards. And you do the same thing with those. And you always want to make sure that the total amount of your credit, the total amount that you have all together from all these cards, that you're only using 10% of that. You keep that going. And then you can, once your credit score is really going up, if you're thinking about making a major purchase in the future, uh, you want to play this game for a while, get your credit score to go way up before you do something like buy a car or buy a house because you're going to have lower interest rates and you're going to be paying less for that vehicle, for that house over time because you took your time and did this stuff. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.